the energy coming in pouring in right now is so intense that it's just really disrupting the routines and the sleep and you know if you're tracking the schumann resonance there's been uh, multiple spikes uh just really high spikes in in the frequency which we can all feel so you may also be feeling some physical symptoms of either uh, feeling anxiety feeling like your heart is racing um, and uh, also it might go in the total opposite direction it's kind of been flipping back and forth so some days are like walking through concrete i'm just so tired i feel like i'm doing double duty and i'm living like multiple lives and all from the same energy source and i'm just exhausted and and some days i feel like i really like just gonna pop right off this planet now there's also been a well there's still there's other physical stuff too vision you might be having issues with your vision uh that's being recalibrated different energy centers in your body are being recalibrated and they're opening up to new things uh new abilities all that are part of your like multi-dimensional self that we're being able to access as we get into these higher frequencies so you may be having some stuff going on in your different chakras um specifically right now the energy is focused on the heart chakra because we have the rising feminine energy and it's really important that we stay in balance um, and keep our hearts open as we get pushed and filled with more power, more energy. We want to stay in that in that balanced, beautiful place. So there's a lot going on with the heart chakra. Um, other physical areas. I just had a lot of like inflammation, um, a lot of I just like random soreness and like I do like one little thing and I feel like I I worked out for three hours when I only like did like 10 minutes or, you know, I do a hike and I come back and I'm just exhausted. And usually I, I mean, I do it very regularly. So it's not like I'm just walking zombie all the time after working out. It's like, it's, it's not typical. So it's, there's a lot of just fatigue going on on top of everything else. Now, some of the inflammation or some of the illness that people might be feeling is also coming from the excessive amount of chemtrails that are being sprayed right now. So we have not seen the sun in about four days here. And we are not forecasted to see the sun for another few days, but these are not natural weather patterns for us. And in fact, we can see through some of the patchiness of the cloud, fake cloud, that there's blue sky behind it. So, um, so just be mindful of these chemtrails in your body, especially if you have any like pre-existing conditions or underlying, just underlying health issues. Don't spend a lot of time out there breathing it and, and wash it off um, if you can, because it, a lot of it is toxic and also they are spraying bioweapons out there. So I did get, like I told you the last time that we talked, I did get a two week stomach flu uh, after being exposed to some chemtrails. So you wanna make sure that you're just Keeping yourself clean, try to stay out of it as much as possible. And when the sun does come out, get your butt right out there and soak it up. Get as much as you possibly can of that high uh, frequency energy that's coming in. So um, we also had, so we had the 111 portal, which is also 1111. So that happened um, last Thursday and then, um, or the Thursday prior to that. And then we had, um, on the 15th of January, um, a very special alignment that only happens every 2,500 years. Um, it's with the end of a Kali Yuga and the beginning of a new age. And so there's a six hour window after that um, that is called a Mahutra. And it's like a manifestation window. So it's like the highest, most powerful manifestation window that occurs on planet Earth and it only happens every 2,500 years because it has to do with an alignment with the galactic center. So we're getting all that photon energy coming in from the galactic center. So that's been going on. So we are literally just being inundated every day with all of these frequencies and all of this energy so that we can blast off and start our new reality. Now, a little update because some people were at different stages of this, right? We're coming in through with waves. Some of us jumped on the first wave and some of us are on the second wave of this energy. It's purposely designed this way. 
So if you didn't feel some of the stuff that I told you about last month, last month, you're probably feeling it this month since the last time that I talked to you. And, and so it's designed to come in waves so that we know what's going on, so that we know we're not losing our minds, and so that one of us is physically or emotionally present to help talk the others off the ledge as this energy continues to increase and bring up all of these emotions. So on Saturday, we had the uh, move of Pluto into Aquarius, which is really big for the cardinal signs. And if you have one of those, it's uh, one of your signs or your rising signs, it's gonna be very, very um, energetically powerful for you for the next 20 years, helping you with business and, and any other thing that you wanna manifest. Um, we also are moving into the age of Aquarius, right? So the age of Aquarius is now here. It is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And we are, we are starting that. And what is that? It's about revelations. It's about revealing the truth. It's about breaking patterns. It's old about, systems crumbling. Yeah, it's about crumbling the old systems. Our last, our last kind of, um, you know, Pluto influence was for um, business, technology, corporations. This one is for social. It's for community. It's for all of those things that we're building. So it's really good powerful influence to have. And being at the age of Aquarius, which is a huge thing for us to all be experiencing because these ages last for how many years? 2,500. 2,500 years. And so like the chances of you getting to experience one of these changes is, uh, it's, it's not that often. So it's, it's really awesome to be here for one of these and to feel this energy. What is happening also with that? It is deeper pushing into purging the stuff that no longer belongs within our emotional bodies because it's not working for us. So this is my timeline. And so I hopefully, hopefully this gives you some like hope if you're still in the thick of it, if you're still in the really heavy feelings that have been going on. So I'm gonna give you a light at the end of the tunnel for when that shifts. So um, not last Saturday, but the Saturday prior to that, there was, finally a break in the heavy energy for me. So like after, and I'm telling you, like, I have to ask my friends that have like suffered from depression before, like, is this what depression feels like? Is this, cause I, I don't know how to, I'm usually very optimistic. I wake up happy, I'm an upbeat person, like, and my, and my moods are pretty even, but this energy was so heavy. Like it was just like despair and hopelessness. And the inner, the, the timelines were so intertwined that we were so bogged down by the lower density timeline that I was unable to see our future. I could not see it. And when I tried to look out there, it was just a jumble of like shattered, like fractals of timelines. And you really couldn't see beyond a certain point. And then what also has happened, which I think has been unsettling for a lot of people over the last two years, this has been going on. So two years ago, we had a rift in our kind of dimensional divide. All these lower um, entities were coming up, demonic and parasitic entities coming up and just attaching. So um, we were on full high alert, like stay, you, I would every night almost like in bed, making sure there was nothing jumping on me or like there were some nights where I had to stay awake all night long just to protect my space and make sure yeah, I didn't get any of the- which is rare. Yeah, to not get those dirty tag alongs is what I like to call them. And so like I was on full guard. Well, um, because of that, some of the communication protocols had changed because we needed to up the security. So all of the tele telepathy that was happening over the last two years has been very uh, visual. Yeah. It, yeah, it's it's cryptic and it's visual. So we were having to do a lot more work down here connecting the dots. So I would be given a series of images and I'd have to really sit with the team and just say like, hey guys, what does this mean? This is what I'm seeing next. We need to figure this out. And then they, we'd get like a validation on what it was um, and be able to move on to the next series of images. So for the last couple of years, I've been getting a lot of just like a lot of images that don't really make sense and unless put into the wrong, right context. And so that was the communication going on. Now, about a year ago, we got moved into like this kind of pocket dimension where it, we were now being protected from all of that stuff because our vibration was not high enough 
to get fit them to meet that fifth dimensional window and make the shift. But we also had to get out of where we were because we couldn't stay on on that kind of like vulnerable high alert for too long. Uh, really like affecting the vibration and keeping us. So, so what happened was they moved us into this little pocket dimension and this gave us a little bit of a reprieve from the dark stuff touching us. I, I, I felt it like go away immediately. There was, I didn't feel like I was on high alert. I didn't feel like I was constantly watching my back while I was sleeping. So it was like, okay, this is much more manageable. However, when that at, around that time shift where we switched into this higher, like this other little pocket dimension to be protected from what was going on. We also switched into that where it's a final year of like, um, basically our souls deciding where we're going to end up. And if there was too much influence and too much assistance from above, we would not be able to hold the vibration of where we actually ended up. So we, if there were enough of us that ended up there and couldn't hold the vibration, we would be dropping that dimension back down the way that people did to earth. So many 26, well, 19 million years ago. That's what happened. Well, it's been cycles of it. But... Yeah, but 19 million years ago, we dropped into the like lower dimensional vibration because of taking in a bunch of laggard souls. So if we try to drop to fifth dimension when we're not ready, we will either take their dimension down or we'll just drop right back down ourselves or we'll actually die and come back on the third dimensional level and have lose, lost all that progress. So the, the, the vibration and holding the vibration had to be our own. It could not be from an outside source. And so that also kept the communication a little light. And when I was like looking out there to try and see what was going on, just to give people some hope or some direction, it was like all hands are on deck right now. We're like, we're, it was like a battle between the angels and the demons and like all this stuff going on. So they really didn't have the time to sit down and tell us, hey, this is what's happening next. Well, at a couple Saturdays ago, what happened is we started splitting from the other timeline. So there was this energy of like push, 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 right? Like, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this, but certainly a lot of people that I talk to were just like, done, we can't do this anymore, we're over this, we want better, we deserve better, these children deserve better. No, we do not consent, enough is enough, we are like blowing this popsicle stand, right? So that was like part of the energy that was pushing. And, and so it was enough, it was enough to start splitting us. So a couple of Saturdays ago, I started to feel celebratory. And as the days went on, it got lighter and lighter. Now, I still couldn't see the future very well. I didn't have any changes to my current situation or our current collective situation, but that feeling of hopelessness and despair was gone because even though I couldn't see the future, there was one there actually is the future that existed. Where before, I could not find that future timeline to save my life. It was just like, oh my God, it is like, uh, there's like, what's the point? We're in a dying world. There's, there's like, the, it's all just control and poison, you know, and I was getting really just down, feeling so sick and like, uh, you know, I don't wanna, I, I, I had the Rona or if we're gonna call it that, like this bio weapon that's following bio weapon that they've been spraying on us for the last four years, eight times, eight times. And two of those times, it lasted for an entire month. So like when I got sick this time, I was like, oh, God, I thought I was in the clear this year. I did all the preparatory stuff. I was doing all the preventative med like supplements. I thought no way it's gonna happen to me. I'm avoiding the materials. And yet again, boom, got knocked down. So. I'm like going through that and feeling that I was just really tired. And then the fatigue from all the energy coming in and the fatigue from all of us who are doing pulling double duty and working in the astrals at night, I just felt like I had nothing left to give. I've got nothing left to give. I've got nothing left to give anybody. I can't even sprinkle hope for others because I'm just so tired and in so much pain. It was just really not awesome. So, and I'm really going into this because I know a lot of other people are feeling this and I, I don't want people to be suffering in silence and thinking that they're going through depression or that they they lost it or they failed in some way. This is part of the energy. It's a necessary component of it. And the more you feel, the harder you're gonna feel it. So 
but it's what I'm what I'm telling you is that it's moving. So as the separation has continued to split, we have had more and more positive energy flowing in, more and more where I can see the future. And then this last week, with this last wave that came in, I the telepathic channels opened up in a way that they have not been open in the last two years. And it's just been a full on stream of consciousness where they're talking. I have like a constant voiceover telling me what to tell the boys, telling me what's going to happen with everything and filling me in on some things that we just didn't know because we're living in the third dimension. So, um, and I'll be happy to share some of that stuff moving forward. But right now, what we need to focus on is feeling better, realizing there's a light at the end of the tunnel and just helping each other get through this monkey energy. And so, so that telepathic channel opened up wide and there's been a lot of communication, even some visitation, which I haven't had in a long time because of all this crazy energy. And, and so it is getting better folks. It is getting so much better. And um, there are things to be hopeful for. And our, our manifestations, our future, it's right there. And the overwhelming sense that I'm getting from our like teams upstairs that are supporting us through this is that we have won. We cannot lose. We have gone too far to go back now. So this is just like a, a wrapping of things, finishing up things, and we have already won. This is the direction that we're going in. And so on top of that, upstairs has informed me that April 8th, 2024, the second eclipse happens, we should have either, we should have a completely different timeline than the third dimensional one that's going on. So we'll be in a completely separate place from them. They'll, it'll no longer be able to affect us. Now, I don't know how any of this looks because I've never done this before and neither has anybody else. Um, it could be similar to things that we've experienced with the Mandela effect where we just wake up and things are different. Which it's, is what I mean. Yeah, it could be similar to where the kind of thing that sensitive people feel like. So we see that we're all kind of layered on top of each other. So the, the, the more our vibration shifts and changes and raises, I don't think that we'll be able to see each other. Like there, we just won't be able on the same timeline as them. We won't be on the same dimensional energy, like time frame as them. So we won't be able to see them. So, and, and certainly things won't be able to affect them. And so that is where we are now. It's happening. It's an unprecedented time. We don't know exactly what's going on. But if we can all kind of just keep tuned in, keep our vibrations as high as possible, we want to really protect our, our auras, really protect our energy fields. If you feel called to hibernate, do so. If you're feeling like you need to be alone to just release some stuff and maybe have some feelings, let yourself do that. Because you don't want other people's influence, especially for the women in this group or the men that are working on healing their divine feminine. You don't want to have other people's input because you're starting to learn how to say, I deserve better. I'm not going to accommodate everybody else above myself and that I love myself. So that's part of really bringing in that divine feminine energy. And so we don't want too much outside influence when we're learning. We've got those training wheels on and we're learning how to do those things. And, and so we want to like, it, we want little outside input. Okay. We just want to feel what we're feeling release what we need to release and be in our own energy as long as we need to. So if you need to hibernate, do that. If you feel like you can't do much, don't do much. This isn't a like, if there's, there's also been this energy of like, I feel like I should be doing something, but I don't have any idea what it is. And I really don't have any energy to do anything. And like, it's kind of like walking in circles. Well, that's because it's an introspective period. It's winter. We're supposed to be like hibernating. That's what winter is for. We're, we're collective, collect, recollecting our energy. We're cutting off all outside energy that is draining us. And we are just focusing on that. And then if there are feelings that are coming up, things that you already thought you cleared or you worked on and you released, and it's come up again, do not prevent yourself from feeling it. Let the feeling pass through and exit you. So don't try to stop it. Don't try to bottle it up. Don't try to be Pollyanna and miss positive. If you're feeling something and there's pain in your heart, let it out. And you can do it privately in your hibernation mode. So as we're going through this, like rest of this period going into March, and you're gonna feel this energy getting lighter and lighter, 
it, even though we're gonna keep getting pummeled with waves and we're gonna keep getting that extra photon light that's pushing us along, just know that it is getting better. We are winning. We did win. We won. They are not beating us. We won. And so this is just the 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 time after you know the battle where we are regrouping to build the new world.